AC Linux is a Mac security mechanism used in Android. So Mac stands for Mandatory Access Control. So to understand AC Linux well, we need to know what Mac and DAC are. So Mac stands for Mandatory Access Control and DAC stands for Discretionary Access Control. Mac and DAC are two of the most popular access control models in use. The main difference between them is in how they provide access to the users. So in Mandatory Access Control or Mac, the system determines which subjects can access specific data objects. In Discretionary Access Control, or DAC, the owner of the object, the owner of the object specifies which subjects can access the object. So this is typical case in Linux. AC Linux is a Mac security mechanism. To make it very simple, let's try to understand this with an example. Imagine that you own a farmhouse and you have cows, rabbits and chickens. Each animal in the farmhouse should eat specific Food. None of these animals or birds should not eat each other's food. Let's imagine that you have a robot who will take care of this farmhouse. The robot will look after the animals and make sure that they eat the right food based on your instruction. So you have to instruct the robot with some rules. So you need to say cow should only eat grass, rabbit should only eat carrots, chicken should only eat chicken food. So when you write these rules in AC Linux, you will write something like this. Allow cows, grass, colon, food, eat. Allow rabbit, carrot, colon, food, eat. Allow chicken, grains, colon, food, eat. So this is a typical AC Linux policy rule. As we can see, a AC Linux policy rule comes in this form. The first one is the keyword which says allow. Second one is the source. So this is the type of the subject of the rule. So this is basically the subject. In our first example, the subject is cow, right? So this is basically who is requesting the access. And then comes the target, the type of the object. To what is the access requested? So in the first example, cow is requesting grass so the cow is requesting access to the grass and the third part is the class the kind of object being accessed so in our example it is the food and then the last one is the permissions so in our example the cow is requesting the permission to eat the food right so this is a typical sc policy rule okay now let's look at the subjects and objects in android so we can replace cows rabbits and chickens with processes or process types in android and we can replace grass carrot and grains with files socket other processes etc in android so a real world example will look something like this allow untrusted app app data file colon file read write and the kernel will look at these rules and make sure that the subjects follows it. So in this SE policy rule which we have seen we are allowing untrusted apps access to apps data file so it can read or write. So all untrusted apps could read or write app data file. So files that end with star.te are the SE Linux policy source files where we write the AC Linux rules. So in this example, app.te, we can find one rule. It says allow app domain, same process, hal file, file class, read permission, and also execute not trans permission. Okay. So in this case, we are allowing the process which comes under the app domain access to this particular file, the read and execute not trans permissions. Similarly, you can find many other te files. So file.te, here we are declaring some types. So we look at types in a later session. So here in hal context hub.te, we can find many other rules. So all the rules will be basically under the files with star.te. TE extension. There are many other files, other supporting files for these rules. So for example, genfs underscore context and file underscore context. These files basically defines the names or classes or domains of different resources within the system. So we'll have a look at 
these in detail in the later tutorials. For now, just keep in mind that star.te files consist of all the SC Linux rules and you can find all the SC policies of a particular hardware or a board under this path. Under the device folder, you will get the manufacturer name like AM Logic, Google, Linaro, MediaTek. Okay? TI board. So if we take Linaro as an example, you come inside that you can see different devices, the dragon board, high key board, and under the board name or the device name, you can find a folder with the name SC policy. So here we have the SC policy here and under the SC policy, we'll have all the star.te files where we define the SC policies and its supporting files where we declare the domains, types, etc.